I am going to talk about my memories, so pretty much every day since I was in with mom, Vinny gave me a hard time for wearing tidy whiteies. And one time he gave me a hot he, uh, he said, um, he, he, he gave me a, he, uh, as in, he also made fun of me for wearing shorts. Saying real men wear pants one time. I think that was when I was six or five. It was six. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I started wearing tight whites eventually. And started wearing boxers instead for underwear. And, uh, one time Uncle Bob gave me another depressed memory. Because he was saying, well, I was trying to find an episode that was, that was missing from season two that I couldn't find. Uh, season two box set. And he said, be grateful for what you have. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. He didn't say anything else. He said you should be grateful for you you have. Huh. So I made me more depressed. He said that when I was like 16, I think. And uh, yeah. I was when I was 16, now. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Another thing Uncle Bob did is, uh, in a different memory, is that, that caused him trauma. He was too lazy to find the VHS for buying dinosaur on My Little Ponies or any couldn't because he couldn't find them on t streaming he couldn't find them on TV or and he was too lazy to find the V look to, for the fucking VHS's for My Little Ponies or buying the dinosaur this was when I was zero for, for me and uh Deanna and Alyssa so what does he decide? He decides to pick the t three VHSs that are on top of the VHS player. Pinocchio and the Candyman and Jurassic Park. You know the movie The Candyman, the best foul serial killer? Yes, he picked that movie. Which is stupid of him. So anyway, I end up being charmed. I end up, I said, can instead of Pinocchio, can we watch The Wizard of Oz instead? And he says, that movie's too, no, that movie's too scary for a kid. That movie's very scary and too scary for a kid. You'll be much happier watching Pinocchio over The Wizard of Oz. Because no child should ever watch The Wizard of Oz. I'm going to talk to your dad about the bad parenting he's le leading on for letting you watch The Wizard of Oz. The Drew Garland one. Yeah. He, so, uh, I, because he thought, because Pinocchio's a guy too, so he didn't see how could that be, ever be scary. Yeah. Well, well, uh, I started crying in that film because I was traumatized, starting, it was traumatizing me at the part where all the kids start turning into donkeys at Pleasure Island. I started crying at that part because I was 
this the film was traumatizing me. And then I'll listen Deanna start crying at the pond at when the dinosaurs started killing people in Jurassic Park. And then from beginning to end when the candy man showed up and we the candy man and started killing people, they started crying from beginning to end. And traumatized them. For Jurassic Park and uh while well, Jurassic Park and the Candyman didn't traumatize me, it did traumatize me because it traumatized the inner Alyssa. So yeah. And uh also Vinny gave me a hard time. And, uh, by making fun of me for wearing feet pajamas when I was five, and he did it when I was six, and I can't remember how long he did it for, I just remember that's why I stopped wearing feet pajamas. And they just made fun of me for wearing feet pajamas by giving me a hot, giving me a hot time when making fun of me for wearing fever pajamas. AJ did it around the same time. And Vinny did the same exact thing that AJ did. So, yeah. And, uh... And, uh, Vinny and AJ... In 2008, when I was 11... Said I should be fucking grateful for what I have. They literally said, that's how they said it. They said, both of them said it like this. You should be fucking grateful for what you have. And stop uh, complaining over the MCU. <laughs> grateful for what? What is that? That I, that I live in a home with so that's very, un that makes me feel very unloved and feeling that's like a very unloved warm feeling in a home and the one that really is like kind of to give me that is my mom <laughs> was it easy? no oh fuck no they didn't give me that all they just gave me was being all they just gave me was misery So the MCU, uh, the Marvel characters and combo characters were the only thing that made my childhood worthwhile, specifically Marvel, and especially Marvel. But when Marvel came out with the cinematic universe, that was going to be good, and now they end up just slowing me down, and they still to this day couldn't give you know, like live up to my expectations most of the time with their standalone films. While the Avengers movies are the exceptions, except for Infinity War, because it doesn't focus on the Avengers, focuses on Thanos, which is just kind of he's kind of boring. Although there are some exceptions, uh, like all of the Thor movies made my childhood worthwhile, or the Thor trilogy, and uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Spider-Man Far From Home, and uh, Iron Man Man 2. So that made me feel better looking at looking remembering remember, remember that. Oh, and I also saw a uh when I was six when uh I was left uh it's the summer is when uh, I was left, the summer is when it's, the summer, the first months of the summer is when 
Mom Vane left me home all alone six months to go on their cruise ship, the cruise ship for six months. And that's it all that's all I know that he did. Anyway, during that time I uh was six years old and um and I uh saw a VHS I played it and it said Kim Possible Station Time. Vinny records uh, a uh, video over my VHS uh, recording of Kim Possible. And it was a, uh, a video raping video when uh, Vinny raping mom. And she was unconscious through half of the video. And I was too depressed to get up and and uh, take the tape and play it out. So I ended up just watching the whole thing. He said he was recording for his buddy Paul, as in one's brother, as in Uncle Paul, as in the Paul who was abusive to me. And mom was uh, tied down with ropes, her legs, and her hands. And oh, he also removed the her clothes in the Ray video. Was uh, he? She he removed her clothes with a razor blade. And, um, this time to go to town, and he uh, confessed that what he, that he used rubies to, he drugged her with rubies, and unless I'm, and I hope I'm not announcing that right, I mean, wrong, and, uh, he gave her put 20 rupees in her drink and uh because that's what he said I remember he also said he had to melt the uh, rubies because for her, I don't know, to that nose, I guess. I I didn't get to say why would you need a melt medicine out of the microwave. He said he melted the 20 of them for in the microwave for, so that way they would dissolve quicker. I think he said he uh, melted them in the microwave for 20 seconds. And, uh, yeah, I never would have noticed this. This is always uh, exhausting. And I remember this is, uh, that pot's new. So I got to tell Dad that new pie. And, uh, yeah. I was the whole thing and uh traumatized by it and never told anyone about it. Ex then throughout my entire childhood I never told anyone about it. Because I was free of getting in trouble and I probably wouldn't know anyone and Vinny and AJ. So the second day they got back from the cruise after leaving me home alone for six months. Vinny told AJ I raped mom. And therefore AJ started strangling me because he was angry at me. And uh what he said was 
that he said was a lie. I don't know why he said that though. All I can think of is a cold-hearted asshole. And AJ Strang was strangling it then uh, uh Vinny got AJ off of me. Couldn't understand that part and then told AJ to go to his room. And mom went to her room also. And then uh, Vinny, well, Vinny decided to punish me for, like, punish me, set my head on a table, and, uh, grab me by the neck, and, uh, um, And then um, throw me down the stairs and then slam my head. Uh, then he just slammed the door on my head several times. I don't know how many it was. It was, felt like it was forever. Lost a lot of that blood that day. This happened at six o'clock in the morning. All of this happened at six o'clock in the morning. And I lost a lot of blood that day. Then got to eat breakfast or lunch or supper. And uh before the abuse time. And uh yeah. And, um the times uh, there were some times uh when he would throw me downstairs by grab me by my head and sometimes he would grab me by the neck and throw me down the stairs. Most times he just grabbed me by the neck and just throw me down the stairs. And uh, the neck was more painful, I remembered. And uh, that's all for that. And uh, later at midnight o'clock, mom this notice that I was still down the stairs and I didn't got off because I was just running out of blood and too fucking exhausted. This was when I was six and uh and uh so she carried me upstairs and cleaned me up and uh, clean all the blood off of me and got me into fresh pajamas and me up and put it wrap a giant gauze band wrap kept on wrapping I, I don't know it looks like stretchy gauze around my head she did that and uh, then brought me to bed and she didn't overdose me that night because she could tell I was just too tired and she said I could fall asleep but she'll wake me up when the pizza gets here yeah. And so she did, and I got to have pizza from Palladino. It was cheese pizza. And I had the whole thing <laughs> because I was that hungry. And I, then I got to go to, then I was so tired. I, I And uh, she also got me a big glass of milk to wash it down with. And then after I after that I just went to bed. Oh, she also got me a big bowl in just in case if I need to vomit again. Because I was vomiting a lot that night. Vomiting up, not just vomit, but blood also. Mostly blood I was vomiting up. Because of all the abuse I suffered that day. And, uh, that's all. Bye. Uh, wait, if that is, is that it? Yeah.